Hello friends, welcome to my channel Rex Rahul. In this video, we will see how you can create a simple data entry form in Google Sheets. So as you can see in this demo video, user is clicking on the create button and one new entry is created in the another sheet. So let's get started. So let's start by creating a new form. In this Google Sheet, we have created three sheets. One is form, one is employee data and one is settings. In form, we will be creating a new form. In employee data sheet, we will be storing all the data entered by the form. The data will be populated in this area. Next sheet is setting sheet in which for demo purpose, we have stored only gender, which we will use in this form. So let's start by creating the form. To create form, first of all, we will put the heading of the form. So merge these cells and put some heading. I'm, I'm giving heading as employee record form. Let's create the fields that we want to store in our employee data sheet. So first field is employee ID. Next to this employee ID, we will put the input field in which user will put the employee ID. Create all other fields like name, gender, contact number, and email now color all these fields with this color so in this field we will be creating the button so go to insert and drawing here select the shapes we will choose this and we'll create a button on double clicking it we will be able to edit it give a label like create and save and close you can place the button at any place where you want it to be i'm placing it in c13 cell and doing some decoration of the form to create drop down for gender field add data validation for this field so go to data validation add rule we are applying this rule for c7 range and choose criteria as drop down from a range and select a data range go to settings and select this range for gender and done so in your form you can see in drop down male and female are populated so user can select any of these values we will have to write some code so that this form can actually work so we will go to extension and click on app script a new tab will be opened for app script where you can write the code so this is the by default function my function here first of all we will have to get the reference of the spreadsheet so for this we will write spreadsheet app dot get active spreadsheet so that we can get the spreadsheet we will store this reference in a constant variable say ss after that we will have to get every sheet in the spreadsheet like form form is one of the sheet we have already created so we will get it in a variable name form and we will do ss dot get sheet by name 
and name of the sheet is form this is the name of the sheet so we will copy it and write the form here we will create we will create another variable say entries ss dot get sheet by name so we will get another sheet which is employee data so we will put employee data but before that let's say let's rename this variable to employee data and get the sheet employee data so we are having reference for two sheets form and employee data so we have two references one of form and one of employee data we will get the data from form and save it to the employee data sheet so first of all get the form data which user will be entering in the form so to get the data we will write form dot get range so first range is the field that we want to capture so employee id is the first field here c3 is the cell or field we have to get the data from let's store this reference or range in a constant variable say employee id let's create another constant variable with name as name and get the correct range like c5 c5 is the name in form to get the value of the cell we will have to use get value function after this get range so let's see till now if our code is working or not so we will put a log with console.log and we will print the employee id and name so save the project and run the project so you can see nothing is printed because we don't have any value in the employee id and name cell so we will put the value 1001 in employee id and in name we will put name one let's check now rerun the application so here 1001 and name one is captured from the form and printed here now we will go further and capture remaining fields this is for gender for gender the cell is c7 we will copy it we will capture contact number it is in c9 and now we will capture email from c11 save the project so till now we have captured all the data from the form all the five fields we have now it's time to append the data in employee data sheet so what we will have to do we will use employee data dot append row in append row function we will pass an array of data which will create a new row in the employee data sheet so now let's enter more values in form like for gender contact number put some dummy value and for email 
so we have entered all the values in every field now run the application so execution is completed and you can see the data in employee data sheet one important thing to notice here is that i have given the row data in append row in the same order as mentioned in employee data sheet now let's add some functionality to this create button so that when user clicks on it this my function is called so we will copy this my function name we will click on assign script and paste the my function name and click ok let's test now the functionality of this button go to employee data to remove any previous data and click on create button script is has run go to employee data and check the record you can see record is entered there now create some more records by entering more values in the form click on create script is running and another record is appended let's do one more thing is to clear out all the data of the form after the save is complete so for that what will we have to do is to get the cell and clear the content of the cell by using clear content function so get range c3 and clear its content with clear content function so likewise we will do it for all the fields so let's test it if it works first of all let's change the entries like 1003 and employee data let's also change the gender to male and click on create you can see the entries are cleared now after saving it in the employee data sheet let's create another record say name for gender as male contact number any dummy contact number email and click on create and it is saved in employee data sheet so that's all from my side if you like my video please subscribe to my channel rex rahul mm -hmm.